Welcome to DivX Video Tutorials. Today we're going to show you how to use the DivX Web Player's basic playback controls. If you visit a website using the DivX Web Player, the playback control bar at the bottom of the player window will allow you to navigate through your video. To the far left of the playback bar is the play and pause button. Some websites set the video to start playback automatically. If this isn't the case for the site you are visiting, click the play button to start playback of the video. Click the button again to pause the video. To the right of the play button is a stop button and a scrolling bar that can be used to fast forward or rewind the video. Next you will see two times displayed. One is for the time elapsed and the other for the total length of the video. The volume bar is shown to the right of the time. You can click and scroll right and left to adjust the volume up and down. Click on the speaker icon to mute the sound and again to turn the sound back on. To the right of the volume bar, you will see two square icons. The first of these allows you to view your video in windowed mode, popping the video away from the browser window for more freedom. The next square icon is for full screen mode. If you are watching your video in full screen mode, you can access a small playback control window by clicking anywhere on the video screen. To exit full screen mode, right click the screen to select exit full screen mode or press the escape key. Finally, the blue X in the far right corner pops up a menu for access to some of the same controls you see in the control bar. Additionally, you can access this menu by right clicking anywhere on the video window. In addition to the playback and viewing mode controls we just discussed, you can also view other information such as the About the DivX Web Player option. This will open a small window displaying the version number of your DivX Web Player. The Save Video As function allows you to save the video to your computer. This option will be grayed out until the video has completely loaded. If the save option remains grayed out after the video has loaded, this means this option is not available for this particular video. The audio tracks and subtitle tracks option allows you to choose between different tracks if there are multiple audio or subtitle tracks in the video. You can also disable the audio or subtitles here by selecting off. You can use the check for updates option to verify you are running the latest version of the DivX web player. If you are not using the latest version, Use the Upgrade Now button to install the software update. Lastly, the Preferences option will open a window where you can access and adjust various additional settings for your DivX web player. You can adjust your general settings, download cache, preferences for your video playback, as well as set your desktop dimmer if it is enabled for the site you are visiting. Thanks for learning more about DivX web player. Now go out and enjoy some DivX videos.